my name is Annie. I'm the founder of Tfal. So Tfal is a Kung Fu Cha company. We specialize in mostly oolongs and other handcrafted teas sourced from China. So all over China, like Yunnan, Fujian, and Chaozhou. Yeah, so I actually grew up drinking tea in this style. I grew up doing this because my dad grew up in Chaozhou and our family's ancestry is actually Fujian. So basically the combination of two tea culture. I grew up in Guangdong in China, so we've been doing Gong Fu Cha since I was a kid. But I didn't really care about it growing up because it's just something that my dad and my uncles did all the time. Like after a meal, oh, we're gonna go to the tea table. And then, you know, before a meal, tea, blah, 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 blah. It's always tea all day. It wasn't until I moved here that I realized how much I missed that communal aspect of just enjoying tea, enjoying each other's presence, um, and how different it is from especially the fast-paced culture in America where it's like people get their caffeine on the go, right? You're not sitting down, you're not really appreciating how each, you know, steeping actually bring out more flavors. So I started kind of doing this here um, and the more I got into it, the more I also got into the processing of it and then got connected to some of the farms in China. Um, honestly, I would say I'm not very ambitious. <laughs> Because the whole way of doing this is, I would say it's more of a niche, right? Mm. It's very different from how people appreciate tea here. And I think the more I introduce it to people, at least to know about how much care it goes into the harvest and also the processing of teas, I'll be happy. Like that, I'm good with that, right? Even if they're not doing gofu style. So one of the things that separates Tifa with other companies is that we, like I said, I only work with small family farms. Green tea and black teas are not made, or red tea are not made in Chaozhou. Like everyone only drinks oolong and prefer the sort of like more greener, lighter profile, like the oxidized oolong. But by working directly with family farms, um, we can kind of experiment with coming up with different flavors. So things like that, right? If I was working with a bigger farm or more of a factory almost, it's hard to kind of tweak things. And also Tifao has a uh, Tea club. Essentially what it is is that subscribers either get one or two teas every month and it's about 25 grams each so they're getting a taste of teas not just from Chaozhou, other areas as well. It's both a way for me to also know what people are into. Sometimes I'm testing out teas and it's really just me. Maybe my partner and I just sitting there like, do you like this one? <laughs> and oftentimes we try it once and then maybe like a month later we try it again and I'm like, well oh, actually this is better than I thought, right? So having a tea club, I actually I'm getting feedback from the subscribers as well. I'm like checking in with them, like, do you like this? Sometimes people like stuff that I don't like, mm -hmm. but maybe I will consider getting a higher quality one or changing the rows mm -hmm. to, you know, um, add more stuff to the collection. So uh, tell us about the tea we're using in the beer. It is a product that I fought hard against selling it <laughs> at first. Because again, I wanted to do it the traditional way, so Gong Fu tea, loose leaf. I, uh, the first time I went to Chaozhou to like uh, meet the farm too, they were telling me that like, oh, there are people doing tea bags. Oh, you're selling tea in you know America? You should do tea bag. It's like, oh, I, don't, I don't think so. And then I tried some of the other ones, their neighboring farms made, and I was like, no, this is not. I mean, I get it. Maybe to an untrained palate, this is okay enough, but I don't think so. And they were like, what do you think about this? And they gave me one tea bag that they have made for one other person that's <laughs> buying them. I tasted it and I was like, and I also opened the tea bag. It's whole leaves, right? And I asked them what's in it. So it's honey orchid cultivar, and then duck shed cultivar, and then also another secret one that they are not even telling me. So I was like, oh, okay. And I realized that, okay, maybe I would really try this. And I started selling them. And that was sort of like a gateway for a lot of people that was introduced to tea file teas. And then the, again, like I said, the more they got into it, they're like, oh, okay, so what's the difference of these cultivars, right? What else is in this blend? How else can I brew this tea? That's when they get into it, yeah. which I realize is ultimately what I want to do <laughs> anyway. So yeah, it's a house blend um, that's blended in Chaozhou at the farm, and it's triple roasted of three cultivars. 